another thing that I do is when I need to clean a brush, I have this wonderful brush cleaner. This is a Wooster brush cleaner. And you can see that it has the hard spikes on one end and the uh, metal brush on the other. Now these spikes are what you use for your, to clean a brush. You just put them down into your bristles and pull like that. And then the, the uh, brush portion of it, you can use it to clean your handle if you need to. I don't recommend using the brush portion down on your bristles, especially if it is a natural bristle brush like this one. If you use this on this brush like this, what's gonna happen is it's going to mess up these bristles. If you look at a natural bristle brush like this one, you can see it almost looks like hair that has split ends. And that's intentional. And if you use this brush on, this, on these bristles, it's gonna mess that up. So don't ever use the brush Always use the spikes on your bristles. Now, the most important thing about your paint brushes are to clean them quickly. As soon as you get finished, try to get them cleaned and dried and put away. What I like to do for my water base is I have this bucket right here. This is just an old chlorine tablet bucket from my pool and it's perfect to wash my brushes, my water base brushes in. I can just fill it up and I can get in here with this, drop my roller brushes down in there if I need to and get them clean. But if I need to soak a brush, like if I have left it to dry, I forgot it or something like that, or if it is an oil based finish, then I would need to soak it. And for that, I just use a simple mason jar. And this is a wide mouth mason jar. And what I do is I soak my brushes in the mason jar to get them clean, but I never want my bristles to touch the bottom. So what I do is I use these paper clips, these are notebook clips, and clip them to the sides of my brushes and suspend my brush down in the jar like so. So you can see that the bristles are not touching the bottom of the jar. They're not even close to touching the bottom of the jar. And that keeps the bristles from getting that bent. Like, you know, if you set them down, they're gonna bend like that. And then when you go back to use your brush later, well, it's gonna be deformed and you're not gonna be happy with what you have. So I just do, do this system like this. Just put them in there. If you don't have these, you can use anything. You can use some clamps on your paint brushes, anything that you can use to suspend them in your jar. Next week we'll go over my system for storing and disposing solvents and, and paints. So be sure to check back in next week to see that.